The worst part is I have to restart this entire mission <laughs> in order to keep going. Um, so fuck doing all that, I guess. And we have, I think that's the last uh, dagger mission. Man, that just sucks. Uh, holds the key to unlocking the true power of the Ringmaker. The power of command and domination. Forge an army to challenge the Black Captains. I'll do that instead of fucking trying to do this one side quest over and over again. I will come back to it, don't worry. I did say that I wanted to finish all the uh, challenges. Although I'll probably live stream most of them. I think I did mention that I wanted to to live stream a bunch of side quests. But it'll definitely be out of order, so if you're watching the playthrough, I probably have already live streamed it, so if I do ever actually live stream it. That's the thing. Cause I know this video won't be up till like late June or late July, and it's June 29th as of recording. So, I promise on, you know, live streaming it, the live stream's already gone and passed. I'll definitely have to, like, you know, have a recap. Because part of me wants to do it off camera, but at the same time, I don't want to... I don't want to do, like, everything off camera. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. I guess the reason why I haven't live streamed is because I'm like, oh, well, I've already, like, I live streamed, like, a week's worth of videos. Maybe even two or three. <laughs> before I even get to upload them. Now oh, that's Tars. We've already seen him before. Oh, we haven't seen him. I think we've unlocked his... His vision, or his person, but... She's being corrupted by someone, I'm not sure. I don't... Is, is she being corrupted by the Black Hand? Is she like a double agent or a triple agent? <laughs> Marwan said to bring her an army. We shall not build an army. We shall command one. We'll need to find an Uruk captain to dominate and make our own. There is a slave idea here named Grublik. We will make him serve our cause. Grublik? Grublik the Flogger? Oh god, I, I, I'm i pretty sure we already fought a guy named Grublik. I can't remember his title, though. But I remember that we had a guy named Grublik, and we spotted Latbag Manstalker? Offended of all, at, at all of the simple-minded idiocy surrounding him. What a nice guy. Try to like locate him from here. I guess not. That would be a little weird. The archers are running drills today. Hope they've improved from last week. Almost got an arrow in me bloody leg thanks to their dodgy aim. You won't have to worry about that. Where there are slaves to be tortured, we will find this captain. <sighs> Found him. Grublik. 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 So after dominating a captain, hold 
right bumper and A, you can press Y to issue a command. This allows you to send the the brand new captain to murder another captain or try to become a war chief's bodyguard. Ooh. Interesting. Now, do I have any information on him? No, I don't. Ah, uh, well, can't grab him. Lousy elf lover, always sneaking about and creeping around. All right, just to even the odds a little. I wonder what happens if you killed him in this mission. Double assassination attempt. There you go. Oh, triple. Ah. Oh. Brand. Oh, I have to hold brand. Oh, I have to hold the B button to brand. <laughs> Grublik the flogger. Branded. That's cool. That has, he has his handprint. Nice. So how do I... How do I give him commands? To dominate? Command. This captain is now under your control. You can create a power struggle mission by sending him to another captain. If commanded against a war chief, the captain will attempt to become his bodyguard. This will become a new power struggle in order to prove his worth. Press A to infiltrate Traz's squads. Power struggle. Ambush Traz by infiltrating his stronghold. Get the fuck out of here. Head to the recruitment. We must now make this captain a bodyguard, if he is ever to be a war chief. It is from First Strike of Thunder that is soon born a storm. So this is pretty cool. Now the question is, do I stay here and build up the army? Or do I... Oh, I, I, I did make it. Apparently, I control. I, I brand all of his men. Stand with me, or suffer under me. You want me to bow to you? Come and make me. I must help Rublik eliminate all those who challenge him. I'm not here. Shut up. Did someone spot me? Is it this dude? Oh my god, guys, it's like 3v1. Our protege wields fear like a weapon, and we are his invisible ally. A shadow who stays close and sees all. That is the elven way. Aww. I didn't get the bonus objective. I didn't stay above him, apparently. I tried to, but... I tried jumping across, and apparently that wasn't good enough. Oh, 
reward your ambition with my at last. Next time I see him, he's dead. <laughs> Our captain fights for us well. Through my will, he steers these Uruks of Mordor. Yeah, so does that mean the orcs that we give him is like branded? Are they branded? Because the orcs that he walked in to the to the mission with were all branded, but I didn't brand them. Feels like a continuity area era, but whatever. I won't argue with it. Which one's not to shoot? It's great that I can just like go on a rampage, shoot them all, collect all of my my slowdown time. As well as help my guy out. I think we did this before. There was a recruitment back on the, the first map. And it didn't tell us outright to go kill the captain. And I was like, that's kind of odd that they just they didn't they didn't tell me specifically, hey, stop him from recruiting. But you can actually do things like this where you can like Oh, let him talk. Nice little uh, speech there. Now that we have our hunter, let us stalk our prey. I'll explain after the cutscene then. Rublik the Flogger, power increase, promoted to bodyguard. Sick. Reach the vantage point without raising the alarm. Alright, so uh, I'm gonna pause it right here. So, back in the first map, there was a uh, power struggle that asked us to go deal with a recruitment. And I forgot the guy's name because I'm pretty sure we murdered him at that recruitment. Um, but it didn't tell us, like, hey, you're at the recruitment, stop him from recruiting. It was like, just, just stay at the recruitment, make sure what you want happens. And I'm like, okay, well. Uh, I guess I gotta kill him, but apparently now we can like watch over people. Then he has chosen death. A great advantage will ready us for this battle. Few details. Does he have information? Combat finishers, explosives. Now, do we have to kill this war chief, or are we recruiting him? Stealth brand. I think I want a stealth brand. Listen to them. Vile savage beasts. And we shall harness and command their savagery. I think commanding them would be much better than just murdering the fuck out of them. Because it, it looks like they keep getting replaced every so often, so why not just keep the ones that are available? What I'm wondering, though, is if you can brand one of the revenge targets. Because with the... let's see. Oh, there's, what am I trying to say? Um... I didn't want a stealth brand. It sickens me. I lost my family to this evil. Exact retribution by turning that evil against itself. The queen is right. We are wise to use the order's ruthlessness against Gain intel. That's what I wanted to do. Okay, so we haven't gained intel on this guy yet. Booble. Um anyway. They were talking to you. Sorry. I did pretty I'm pretty sure I cut them off. But yeah, I'm pretty sure we should like tactically thinking from a tactical position, we should probably brand the war chief instead. Cuz if we can brand the war chiefs, 
uh, then that would be much more beneficial because then we wouldn't have to worry about underlings. We'd control the highest command. Oh, revenge targets. That's what I was going to talk about. Um, since they're they're back and you know ready for revenge, would that mean that they would really want to have a uh... Tars? Okay, Tarzan. <laughs> would that mean they really want to fight? All right. 